Kevin Flood, Badger 24-7, coming to you with a quick preview of Wisconsin's 2016-2017 season. As you know, the Badgers wrapped up their annual red-white scrimmage over the weekend. Here are three quick takeaways from what we saw at the Kohl Center. Number one has to be Bronson Koenig. He spent the summer training in Los Angeles. He's come back in his senior season quicker, stronger, faster. I'm wondering, is this now his team? Now, obviously, Nigel Hayes is the preseason Big Ten Player of the Year. He led the team in scoring and assists last season, was second in rebounding. He's certainly the more complete player and, and shouldered the load most of last season. But does Koenig's new ability to score off the dribble and do things around the rim make him the leading scorer this season. Uh, we all know he's kind of that guy you want with the ball in his hands as time's winding down. He's more of that go-to player. Does his transformation make him now the leading scorer and, and make him a candidate to be pre, uh, Big Ten Player of the Year himself? Uh, I've watched a little bit of practice and I can tell you that what you saw at the red-white scrimmage is for real. Wisconsin hasn't done a lot of five-on-five five yet, but pretty much everything Koenig was getting at the rim, he was throwing down uh, with a dunk. So he's definitely more explosive this season and that was kind of one of his biggest weak points as a guard, his ability to blow by people and finish at the rim. Now that he has that along with an explosive mid-range and three-point game, he's got a chance to really take off this season. Number two, depth. Go back two seasons ago when Wisconsin made the national title game. That team might be more talented in its starting five, six, seven players, but that team won't have the depth that this one has uh, in 2016-2017. Outside of that one-two punch that we just talked about, Bronson Koenig and Nigel Hayes, the Badgers feature players like Ethan Happ, a preseason All-Big Ten selection. Vito Brown, who will be a two-year starter and has worked on, on some offensive parts of his game, mainly taking bigger players off the dribble and getting to the rim. Zach Showalter looks like an improved three-point shooter, something Wisconsin desperately needs, and we all know he'll be their go-to perimeter defender. Behind that starting five, there's a, a load of talent as well. Charlie Thomas, Alex Illikanen, Khalil Iverson, and the Badgers are going to add Andy Van Fleet, a skilled 6'11", sophomore uh, who can play all the forward positions to that mix and we haven't even gotten to players like Demetri Trice, Aleem Ford who are true freshmen that are going to push for playing time as well, Brevin Pritzel who's coming off a foot injury and should be able to help the Badgers in the shooting department uh, and then of course uh, a junior point guard Jordan Hill who can help relieve some some minutes and do some things offensively as well so this team is just loaded with you know they'll, they'll probably be playing 10-11 guys uh, during certain games this season. Number three, Wisconsin wasn't always the most uh, consistent offensive team last season, but they'll be helped by some of these second year players that look like they've made major gains under head coach Greg Gard here. Khalil Iverson, terrific feel for the game, a guy that can distribute from the wing, obviously known for his slashing ability, and he's looked like he's improved his three-point shooting ability. Ethan Happ, Three-point shooting ability is coming along. He's got it in his arsenal. He's a guy I've seen in AAU knock down six three-pointers in a game. They've changed his release quite a bit. It's a little funky, but at least he'll be a threat from outside. We talked about Andy Van Fleet, who's just going to give Wisconsin a, a terrific punch with versatility with his ability to take forwards off the dribble and shoot from three-point land. Also a pretty good shot blocker on the interior, so he could see some minutes at center, even though he's more of a, a small forward, power forward combo. Alex Illikanen had a really nice showing in, in the red-white scrimmage with nine points. He looks more assertive offensively. Charlie Thomas, as we know, is the biggest, strongest guy on the roster, maybe in the Big Ten. He looks like uh, he's added to his game as well on, on the block with his ability to score with his back to the basket. So, you know, these second year players, although they didn't do a ton last year, uh, I think got a lot of confidence off just playing and getting a feel for big time college basketball. And, you know, if Wisconsin gets into foul trouble with their starting five, I think you should feel good about this group coming in off the bench. We'll